Maintaining a lush green lawn can be a time-consuming task, but what if I told you there was a way to make it effortless? That's right, we're talking about automatic robotic lawnmowers. Today, we're going to show you one of the best robotic lawnmowers that will leave your lawn looking perfect without any effort from you. From sensors that detect obstacles to smart mapping technology, this robotic lawnmower is equipped with the latest technology to make lawn care a breeze. Say goodbye to hours spent pushing a heavy mower and hello to more free time to enjoy your beautiful lawn. Be sure to check out the link in the video description below for the best price on the robotic lawnmower mentioned in this video. So without further ado, let's dive in. Welcome to Grow With Your Garden. Today I'm going to show you the best way to mow the lawn. To do this I've made myself quite comfortable because a robot will mow my lawn. It's much more accurate than me and does it all on its own. And if you're thinking now, yeah, 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 but the installation of the thing has got to be three times more difficult, I can tell you a completely different story. First of all, take a close look at the mower. Simply because it is interesting and you also have to check whether everything is there. Naturally, the mower, including the operator's manual and a quick reference guide must be in the box and a form for the, uh, oh yeah, product registration. There are a lot of additional services for it. And then a power supply. And the ruler is also very important. In the cover, there are some screws for securing the ground plate, wire couplers and wire connectors for connecting the wires to the charging station. In addition, there is also a low voltage cable and sticker. Finally, the mower is there under the cover. And also, there is a charging unit. The wire connections are on the back. And a whole bunch of pegs. The reel of wire for the boundary and guide wire. We still have to find out exactly what they are. And not to be missed, the base plate is found right at the bottom. Oh yeah, don't forget the registration. So let's get started and take a closer look at the mower. And the mower itself. You'll find the main switch under the flap, along with a keypad for operation with the display, and a control knob for setting the cutting height. Then there is the big stop button. At the bottom, there is a compartment for the battery, rotating back wheel, and the centerpiece, the freely swinging precision blades. 